Hey guys, how's it going? Hopefully good. Today we're back in Minecraft and I have something that is quite cool to show you. I think if you ever have made a map or are making a map, you'll find this pretty handy. In fact, I actually have been meaning to make this tutorial for ages, but I actually forgot about it. So what I have for you today is a way to create custom GUIs, graphical user interface. Or is it general user interface? I never really know. It's it's one of those though. But yeah, we got that today and they're pretty damn neat. So let me show you. Okay, so we'll start with this one over here. We have a couple examples, but this one is where we will begin. This right here is a special crafting table. This is the super crafting table and you'll see why. So I've seen quite a few examples where people try to create uh, custom crafters, often with something like a dispenser or a dropper, where they'll just uh, use that as the crafting grid, which is pretty neat, but I wanted to make something a little bit bigger. So what we have today is the super crafting table, which is super because it's got a five by five grid. Now this doesn't actually work. This is just an example of the, the, the GUI, but as an example, you can just uh, plop some things down in here and that could craft something really quite big if you wanted it to, but it's just a prototype at the moment. But if you actually take a look at the screen, the entire inventory, the entire interface is different and custom. And this actually applies to all of them. So let's take a look at the other examples. So the next example is a shulker box, at least on the outside. On the inside, it looks a little bit different. All right, so let's take a look. In here, we have some kind of mystical container, I don't know. Um, I can't really read the language, but again, this is completely different from before. Um, this only can hold about seven items and there seems to be some kind of weird ritualistic thing going on here. Let's take these out so nothing bad happens. But yeah, that's another example of a different container. Pretty neat. And the last example I have to show you. So this next one is pretty interesting. Now, of course, this is to create custom GUIs. And that's, you know, not just limited to containers and custom crafters or anything. You can really make anything you like, anything you put your mind to, you can probably make. Uh, this is very, very flexible. So what we have right here is actually some kind of monitoring system. So as you can see here, there's no slots really here or anything. This is really just to show you um, some information. For example, let's say there's a machine next to it and you want to see the energy that it's outputting or something, you can do that. Now, the really good thing about this is that this is not just a static image or anything. You can actually um, control this all with redstone and command blocks. For example, as you can see right here, it is now updating. So like I said, this isn't just a static image or anything. This is pretty dynamic. You can create some pretty rich displays if you want to. You can go as complex or as simple as you want, but stuff like this is possible. This is all controllable with redstone, command blocks, or anything, and you can really make anything you like. So how does all of this work? Now, as always, it's pretty simple. So allow me to explain. So you may remember a while ago, I made a video on how to add custom mana bars or HUDs to the to the game so this actually works pretty similarly but in kind of a different context right so what we're not actually doing is we're not just retexturing the container uh gui because otherwise you wouldn't really that wouldn't be very flexible really but that's not what we're doing what we're actually doing is as always we're taking a special item and we're changing it a little bit so it looks different so this is what the gui is right here this may look like a bit of a glitch, but what this actually is, is a diamond hoe, if I can find it in here, there we go. So this is a diamond hoe that has been retextured to hell and back, and now it looks like this. Now you'll see that we actually have two pieces, so we've got this one down here, and we've also got this one over here, so two pieces, one for the inventory, one for the container. So what we do is we take these two pieces, like so, and what we do is we actually put them in the container, and we place them, where are you, right here. And we take this one right here and place like that. And they slot in perfectly to display something else. So this is pretty easy to do, although this is quite tricky to fine tune. Um, obviously this has to be pixel perfect. Um, and there's a couple issues as well. So if we take a look, you'll see that this is the item before I've warped it. Um, and you'll see that where there is overlap, you can't see the other items in the inventory, they hide behind it. So you actually have to move it very, very, very precisely so that the other items show through. And that's kind of tricky to do. And there's also the fact that you probably will notice that these are pixel perfect. So if I just, whoa, that's a big 
It's a big old gooey. And if you actually look at, take another look in here, you'll see that these are pixel perfect. If I move this around like there, you'll see that everything is is as it should be. There's no, they're not like, it's not like warped or anything. And that's quite tricky to do. But you know what? Like I say, I'm generous. So I will save you the hassle. I will give you the resource pack and a sample so you can actually create these pretty easily yourself because I'm just that nice. I'm just that nice, guys. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much all there is to it. It's pretty simple, but it's pretty effective as well. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I do hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, a like is, of course, always much appreciated. Subscribe if you're not already. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.